welcome here. We're, uh, we're at the Spring Creek Farms. It's owned by Tim and, and Nick Van Huysen. And so what we're going to do today is we're going to talk about potatoes because this is a potato operation that they have here. How do you like in different ways? Are there different ways of pre preparing potatoes or potatoes the way prepared that you like? What are some of your favorite ways of potatoes, eating potatoes? I like french fries. French fries. She likes one cut in half. Oh, cut, cut potatoes and fried. How about anybody else? Yes. Potato chips. Potato chips, awesome. Any others? Yes. Mashed potatoes. Mashed potatoes. Okay. We're gonna start from the beginning here, and that is we start with a seed potato, a seed. So what is a seed potato? What do you plant to get a potato plant? Well, it's a, you put part of a potato, you cut a potato up, and you put the potato in the ground, and that's, uh, the potato grows out of this uh, potato seed. And usually we find that the best potato seeds are about two ounce potato seed. That's about like that. So if you have a potato like this, you'll cut it in half and there'll be two seed potatoes. See, that's a seed piece that you'll put in the ground. If it's a larger one, you still want to get the same two ounce seed piece. So you cut them up and so you'll plant each one of these parts in the ground. Now one of the important things when you plant a potato is it needs to have an eye in it. The eye, you see that eye? That eye is where the uh, potato plant goes for. If you don't have an eye where the stem comes out of, you won't have a, a, a potato plant. So it's important to have an eye in each seed piece. So this is where we start with the potato. You plant it in the ground, and after this, what do you do? When you, after you put a plant in the ground or a seed in the ground and it starts to grow, what do you do to keep the plant growing? Water it. Water, water it. it. Okay, you water the plant and you fertilize it. You, give it sun. You give it plenty of sun, good job. You weed, you, you uh, use a hoe to take out any weeds. And this is the same thing that the Van Huysen family does, only a much larger scale. They will plant these potatoes. First they will cut them and they have a special cutter. They aren't going to cut them all on a table, but they have a machine that cuts. And this machine will cut about enough to fill a semi in an hour. So it plants a lot of potatoes. And then they use a planter to, to put the, plant, the potatoes in the ground for seed. They'll t take these seeds and they'll, they have a machine that will, uh, will put these seeds in the ground and they'll put in a lot of seeds because they, have, they grow a lot of potatoes here as we'll see in a little bit. Now we're gonna go to look at a few of the machines that they use to grow potatoes. Okay, as we talked earlier, once the potato goes in the ground, whether you plant it in the ground or whether the Van Huysens plant it in the ground, they use huge machines to plant the potatoes in the ground. So once the potato starts to come up, then the potato starts to grow under the plant in the ground. And it starts with a little tiny, like a size of a pea. And as the potato grows, those potatoes underneath the ground are growing too. They start out, they get a little bit bigger. And as the season goes along, they get bigger, and towards the end of the season, towards fall, you have a nice sized potato. And usually there's about eight to 20 potatoes under the ground under each plant. When it gets near fall, the Van Huysens use big machines to take the potato out. If you're just planting a garden, you use a fork and, and dig them out with a fork. However, the Van Huysens use large machines to take the potatoes out. And they'll use this machine and it'll pick up 12 rows of potatoes at a time. When it's out in the field, it, it, it is a mammoth project. A truck goes alongside the potatoes. Do you see the boom there of that? The, this is called a potato harvester. And that boom is over into a truck. And as you go along, it'll fill that truck up with the potatoes that they're picking up out of the field. And when things are going really well, they can load one of those tandem trucks in about four minutes. There's a lot of potatoes coming out. This is how they harvest the potatoes. Then they, in, they take the truck and then they go to the potato storages. And that's what we'll see next. We'll go to a potato storage where they, they store the potatoes until the buyer needs them. Okay, now class, we've talked about planting the potatoes. 
Now we saw the harvester that they bring the potatoes in and they put them into a storage here. They'll hold these potatoes in this storage until into spring, until the buyer wants the potatoes. And so I'm gonna have you take a look at this storage. The storage is computer controlled, the temperature controlled. It keeps it at 38 degrees, okay, throughout the year. So it keeps it right at that temperature so they don't start to sprout. So I'm gonna show you here what's inside here. Yeah. Oh, wow. Is that amazing or what? Amazing. It is amazing. Wow. wow. Well, how much? How many pounds of potatoes would you say was in this one bin here? A million. A million. A million? Well, you're pretty close because actually, each one of these bays holds four million pounds of potatoes. Four million pounds. And. And the number of potatoes that are grown by the growers in the Gallatin Valley here, each year they produce 150 million pounds of potatoes to ship out to their buyers. 150 million pounds. And so a lot of these potatoes will end up as uh, on the fresh market or ones that you get out of the grocery store. Some will go and grow in a seed for other growers. Now you see, we cut up the seed there so a lot of these potatoes, you see the trucks that are out here? Well, these trucks are being loaded to take potatoes back to probably into Washington today because it's a little warmer there and they're going to start planting in Washington. So how much do you think is on each one of those trucks? Uh, 100 pounds. Well, there's actually about 60,000 pounds on each truck and each year, the Gallatin Valley, all the growers in the Gallatin County here, ship about 2,500 to 3,000 truckloads of potatoes all over the United States. So, it's gonna be fun to get up on that pile and slide down that pile, wouldn't it? I bet that's what you're thinking, yeah. Well, they probably won't do it today, but maybe someday they'll let you slide down that pile. Okay, um, now we'll, we will go over and uh, We'll look at the grading, how they're grading the potatoes out to, to send them to the buyer. Alrighty now, after the potatoes have been put in the storage and they stay there all winter long, in the spring they start to take them out and send them to the buyer. Now these particular potatoes go to a, a buyers in Washington and although they can go anywhere in the United States and they'll go with seed potatoes. And you know, what's the difference between a seed potato and just a regular potato that you eat? Actually, there's no difference. The only difference is, is the potatoes that are sent out of seed have very few diseases. And Montana and Gallatin Valley has a reputation of having the best seed potatoes in the world. So right here in this county, they're growing the best seed potatoes in the world because they're so disease free. They're shipping these potatoes back to Washington. These, they'll be planting them for, uh, for actually for French fries. These potatoes here are growing one more time in Washington and then they'll be made into French fries that go to McDonald's and Burger King and even in the uh, restaurants that you eat at. They're loading these trucks right now. Right today, they have 10 trucks that they have to load. It takes about 30 minutes to load one of these trucks. In 30 minutes, they can load one of those trucks with 60,000 pounds of potatoes. Okay, we're finishing up today. You've learned a lot about potatoes. Did you have fun? Yes! Yeah! All right, that's good. I'm glad you had fun. What did you learn? Did anybody learn one specific thing? Yes. I learned I want to be a potato farmer. Oh, I like that. She wants to be a potato farmer. I learned that I never knew there were so many potatoes in one place. Isn't that amazing how many potatoes that they grow here? Yeah, that's great. We learned about the seed potatoes. You're going to take the little seed, the pieces of seed, and maybe even plant them and grow potatoes yourself. But you also realized that it takes a lot of work for a farmer to get the potato to the market. Well, we've sure enjoyed having you and, and it's been a fun showing you around the potato place. My name is Bill Skinner, incidentally. I'm a retired potato farmer. 
And uh, so I hope you come back and maybe someday you can ask Mr. Van Huysen, Tim or Nick Van Huysen for a job because they hire um, people for jobs, especially young people like maybe 15, 16, 17 years old. So sometimes that may be a chance to come and work for them and make some money. But anyway, thank you for coming. You've been a great class. And uh, I'm, I'm glad that we learned about potatoes. They're, they're America's favorite vegetable. Okay, thank you very much. Bye now. Yeah.